Hey everybody, and this is a quick tutorial to show you how to split your screen so that you can be looking at more than one thing at a time. And also how to use the Kami PDF extension in Chrome to mark up PDF. So those are two workflow steps that you're probably gonna wanna use a bunch so that you can be more productive with your online distance learning. So uh, first of all, you can see up here, I have Schoology, I have a worksheet I'm supposed to be doing, and I have my textbook. And it's gonna get really annoying to be toggling back and forth through those. So in order to split your screen, you can see up here where right now I'm full screen, I'm gonna click that to get out of full screen, which will shrink my window, hopefully a little bit. And then I can decide what do I want on the left side and what do I want on the right side of my screen. So for me, I like to have my textbook or my Schoology or whatever it is that I'm referencing on the right side. So I'm gonna grab that tab and I'm gonna drag it off and over, which is gonna make it its own little thing. And then once I have it in place, I can change the width. So maybe I don't need to see the entire page. Maybe I only need to see the first example. I can shrink that and then I can um, make it a little taller if I need to. And then I can have the worksheet that I'm supposed to be working on on the other side. And again, I can change the width on that too. I think you saw the little arrow there. And now I can make that one a little bit wider. But you can see a lot of worksheets don't need your full screen. So maybe you're watching a video on one side, filling out a worksheet to go with it. Maybe you are looking at the assignment on Schoology and then you're reading the directions over here. Maybe you're taking notes on one side. So just be aware. Um, if you wanna help yourself be more productive, having two screens can really help you do that, okay? Now, you can see I'm in a PDF, which is not something you can typically write on in Schoology. So what I um, wanted to show you here is this K has been installed on all student accounts. You'll see it's an extension up here. So when you're in a PDF, all you should have to do is click open with Kami, and that is going to give you the ability to edit on top of that PDF. The first time you do it, it's going to give you a whole bunch of permissions. Make sure you click yes to everything. Uh, you have to scroll through all the permissions, drag down to say allow. And then uh, once you've done that, you should have your uh, PDF document and you should have another pane over here with tools that you can use to mark it up. So say this is the worksheet I'm solving and this is the directions that teaches me how to balance the equation. Uh, a lot of kids find writing on the PDF with the drawing tool to be really cumbersome because right now I have a tiny little trackpad. So if I want to try to hand write here, I'm um, using like my finger on the trackpad. You can see that's very slow. But some of you do have touchscreen Chromebooks, in which case this would be a great use for that. You just flip your Chromebook over and you would be able to handwrite on your screen, or maybe you have a stylus that would make this easier for you. So for me personally, I find this to be much slower than just using the typing feature. So I'm gonna use the text box on the next problem instead. And you can see you've got lots of fun colors to choose from. Once I've selected my color, I can go over to problem two and I'm gonna plop my text box in here and then uh, I can use the keypad to put in my steps. And then I could hit enter. And now I'm just using the dash to basically show the same thing. So now I can finish the problem and you can see how much faster that was for me. Both problems work fine, set up the way my teacher wants, whether it's typed or handwritten, they can see your work. Uh, one more feature, you might be using this with language arts classes you have a highlight tool. So if you click on that, that will give you some different highlighting colors you can pick. And then as you're hovering over text, you can highlight a block of text. If you need to highlight something bigger, there's a box highlighter that will give you the top and the bottom corner you can drag over. And then if you need to underline parts of a paragraph or do a strike through, you can do that as well. Once you have finished your work, super important step is to make sure you go up to the save button and then check where it's going. It should be in the Kami folder. You can see this has unsaved changes. So make sure you click the save now button to get the rest of your markings updated on the document. And then if you're submitting